It's just crazy. Right there. That's the edge. Good morning from Galway, Ireland. Uh, we got in to Galway from Dublin last night. Um, and we're already kind of turning right back around uh, to go somewhere else. As you can see, suitcases are back out being packed. Um, we are going to a chain of islands right off of Galway called the Aran Islands. Uh, so we're going out to those islands for about two days um and yeah we're gonna ride some bikes around check out the cliffs and just uh take in the in the beauty because it's a very unique place unique uh landscape so we're going out and we're gonna check it out it's gonna be super fun okay we got our tickets we're taking a shuttle bus because we're in the off season so the ferry doesn't run straight from galway um but yeah we're just gonna hop on the bus and we'll go out to ross which is a, the town where the ferry leaves from in the winter and we're headed towards the Aran Islands. We're going to the biggest island, which is called Einishmoor. We're gonna go see the Einishmoor leprechauns. All right, we just got the bus out. Now we're getting on this ferry, headed to the Aran Islands. There is Einishmore, the biggest of the Aran Islands. That is where we are staying. Yep, we're gonna get off on the pier and walk up to our accommodation. It's basically like a adventure getting there. Like, like she basically just like gave us a map and was like, get here like <laughs> any way you can. So. It's like a treasure hunt to get to this place. <laughs> I'm excited. Very excited, but we're about to about to dock and get on our way. Okay, so we are on Einish Moor, and now we are walking to our accommodations. It's a bit of a journey. <laughs> the directions are like, go to this hill, past this pub, go up, turn to the right. When you see the big rock, go to the left, and then it's behind the big tree that you see with a carving in it. It's like, okay, oh my god. <laughs> so we'll see. Those are the directions, and we're gonna try and Hike our way there. Okay, the walk was longer than expected, so we decided to get bikes because I have this giant backpack on, this bag, and it was like a 40 minute walk. So we just got our bikes now, we're in them for two days, we're making our way to the cottage. Okay. How you feeling? Woo! Marshall suggested we get the bikes before we came up here and I'm so happy we did. Oh, that would have been a hell of a walk. Yeah. Okay, we are at our Airbnb here on Einishmoor in the Aran Islands. It is so cute. It's basically just like a little studio. We'll show you guys around. Here's Marsh. There's our bikes out there, just parked waiting for us. Got a little kitchen table, little TV. Little kitchen. Perfect little kitchen. Beautiful views. Yeah, a little induction stove, toaster. There's our groceries for the next couple of days. And nice futon, fridge. Super cute, comfy bed. And then some storage back there where our bags are. And then a little bathroom. 
with beautiful views of wildflowers. So like light and like airy in here. It's really yeah. nice. It's beautiful. We love it. It's perfect for just a couple days here on the Aran Islands. You can see too, Aran Islands are very famous for their sweaters and this is one of the patterns of stitching that they do. So super cool. Hi cows. This one, this one right here, was chewing on this gate, trying to eat yeah, the gate. Yeah, she was. Here she comes again. I tried to pet her, but she didn't want me to. Oh, she's scratching. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just kind of pulled to the side here. There's like a little, we can get down to where the seals are through this. So we're going to kind of climb over these rocks here. been like one of the best feeling weather days I've felt ever in maybe my life. Feels so good, no humidity, sun is out, just ancient Irish ruins of like farmlands long ago all around. Okay, on the map it showed something called Grave Slab. I think we're standing right by it. Should just be like a quick walk, I think on this path out to the wormhole. Let's go. We sent the drone up and didn't see it. I know you have to like hike kind of like cross country to get out to it. Um, and then we realized that it's probably high tide and sometimes when the tide is high you can't get out to it apparently Which <laughs> we probably should have looked that up Beforehand, but our plan today is that we are going to look online tonight See when low tide is and we're gonna try to come back tomorrow Okay, we're going up to the Dunningas for it. It is a hike. You can't take the bikes up there. So we're headed up. Okay, we're headed up to the fort. They think that this was built somewhere between 600 BC and 200 AD, which makes it very old. So we're headed up. It was five year a person, so 10 for both of us, which I thought it was free, but I think it's gonna be really cool. It sits on the edge of an 87 meter tall cliff. So in feet, that's 80, was 87 times three. So that's just, on, that's like, like a little over 250 feet. And <laughs> there are no fences, anything like that. And there's a cow over there. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing, we were just walking here and uh, we were just saying to ourselves, like, this is crazy how sunny it's been all day. I don't know how many days are actually like this here on the Aran Islands. Like, right, like just beautiful bluebird sky, like 60 degrees. No humidity, just like, oh, <laughs> it's beautiful. I swear her hair's gotten more red and Irish since getting into Ireland. <laughs> but no, like, we feel very blessed. It's been just an amazing day. Tomorrow's supposed to be similar, except it's supposed to be foggy. And we Good hope morning, we yeah. hope we wake up with some coffee and it's like foggy out over the ocean. Ooh. Oh. I didn't, I brought a sun hat on this trip. I haven't worn it one time because it really hasn't been like warm enough. And of course, I left it with our suitcases back in Galway. <laughs> Your girl needs it. I am probably going to be a little burnt. <laughs> my butt is going to be super sore from the bikes. <laughs> She's going to be burnt. My butt's going to be sore, but it's all worth it.
brief little hike, not too bad. We are here. That is the remnants of the inner fort. This is the wall guard guarding the outer fort. And straight ahead of me is a sheer drop off. Right there, that's the edge. Woo! It's terrifying. Precariously perched high on a cliff overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, the Dunangus Fort is a gleaming example of Ireland's prehistoric past. Built in 1100 BC, the fort is shrouded in mystery. Not much is known about its ancient beginnings. As the cliff has crumbled over time, the fort has grown closer to the edge of the cliff face, giving you the feeling that you're at the end of the earth. Okay, so this wall right here is the inner fort wall. Amy went in there somewhere, so let's go try and find her. Maybe through here? down to the beach right behind me. It is beautiful. If we had our bathing suits on, I think I would get in. It's a little bit chilly, like a little, but it's gorgeous. Those people, there are people down there right now and they just got in. We came from the Dunangus um, Fort. How did you like that? Very, very cool. Very peaceful. Like we had a lot of time to ourselves up there. I think the whole time we were up there, there was like maybe two people. Beautiful. It was like so quiet and serene, but like in the background you heard like the waves crashing. Mm -hmm. It was really, really cool. We're thinking maybe coming to this beach tomorrow, but we're not really sure. Yeah, we might come and swim. It's supposed to be kind of cooler and cloudier tomorrow, so we're gonna see. But today, I mean, I could swim right now easily. I don't think I'd get that cold. It's warm out. Yeah, it's warm. And we've walked a ton. We've biked like many, many miles, so we are extremely thirsty we did not bring enough water so uh. we were gonna like s stop home maybe get mm -hmm. some water and then we're gonna maybe go get some uh, food and we're definitely gonna get a couple drinks yes and maybe try to see the sunset yeah so that's the plan to go to what I think is like the only pub on the island, I could be wrong, but one of the more famous pubs called Joe Waddy's. Crossing our fingers that there's live music. I don't know what it's like since COVID, so we're gonna go there, probably get some fish and chips yet again, and a Guinness yet again. It's a relatively short ride on the bikes, so we're just gonna take the bikes, but we're afraid we're gonna probably have to push them back uh, in the evening, because it's gonna be dark, and there's not many uh, street lights, so. We'll see about that. Yeah, we just parked the bikes. Now we're heading into Joe Waddy's. Get some food and some beer. What'd you get, Ames? My favorite, Bulmer's. It's a cider. It's a very good cider. It's just like crisp, kind of dry, honestly. Not super sweet. Like, that's my favorite kind of cider. Yeah. Look at this old map of Ireland. I want to show you guys. So, we are actually right out on this island right there. Super cool. They always say in Ireland, or at least I think maybe on the Aran Islands, the next closest parish is Boston. All right, so here's Amy's fish and chips. What are some food? I got a burger, I was I was feeling it. Looks super delicious. Well, Guinness, obviously. Mel, how is it? 
It's so, it is this is a, one of the better meals I've had. This might be the better the best meal I've had in Ireland. Uh, oh yeah. Guinness, the burger's fantastic. Look at the little flag. The fries are nice and crispy and delicious. Amy's fish and chips is super fresh. Mm. Mine is incredible. Definitely the best fish and chips I've had. I've had three. This is my third now. House made tartar sauce. We're in heaven. Cheers. Are you this We just saw an incredible sunset, or like part of a sunset. We got a Bulmer cider to go. Marsh just cracked it open. Yum. We're gonna sit here on the rocks and just enjoy it and take in this beautiful atmosphere all to ourselves. We feel very lucky. Next time on Marshall and Amy. Okay, we're kind of freaking out right now. Without them, you'd get lost up here. The journey to get out here, it's just like insanely beautiful. Oh my God, we are. The entrance is really close to the edge. So this church dates back to the eighth century. Mm -hmm.